All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Superlight Coupe Builds. Uh, you're looking at the Superlight Coupe at its natural habitat, stored away uh, with the body buck over the chassis. That does come in handy. In this video, we are going to fabricate the fan shrouds for the uh, rear intercoolers. So we've got them just sort of clamped onto the chassis, but we'll build the we are going to cut up the aluminum and send the aluminum to the fabricator for the fan shroud for the inner coolers. And then uh, we'll take a peek back into the front compartment and we are going to get the aluminum panels ready for the fabricator for the fan shroud uh, for the main radiator. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, well first up is uh, the components to assemble the fan shroud for the inner cooler brackets. And basically I bought some uh, some sheet metal or, or aluminum aluminum sheets. These are I think 0.08 inch thick, just a little more than uh, a 16 gauge to get a little more stiffness. And you know, I had a couple choices to make here. I mean, originally I was thinking, I, and these sheets were a little wider, but not much wider. They were 12 by 12 sheets. I was thinking of using uh, the brake actually on this line and just bending them over and then screwing them in. Uh, but the more I thought about it, the more, the more I realized I couldn't get it exact. You know, it would be either a little too tight or a little too wide. And then when you apply the screws, you know, it would bow a little bit. So I figured I'd use the same, uh, the same technique that Wizard Cooler Cooling uses on their on their fan shroud. So I picked up some 16 gauge or, or 16th inch angle iron, and this way I can screw them into the side of the bracket, and then have this sheet, you know, welded on, and you know it'll be a perfect fit. I also sort of like the look of of the TIG welding going down the side. So that's what we're uh, that's what we're going to do with regard to the intercooler bracket. So uh, one thing to point out, I picked up this saw. Uh, this is a, a Dremel Ultra saw, and I had to cut up a bunch of aluminum panels for this job. And I picked this up from a guy on eBay. Uh, his store is called Tool Time, and I will give him a shout out. He sells these refurbished Dremel products, and I picked this up for about 75 bucks shipped and if you go to Home Depot that's about $135 so I thought it was a pretty good deal uh, and with those aluminum oxide discs it really cuts through this aluminum uh, very well and very straight okay so uh, let's move on to the next step all right well the intercooler brackets are ready to go to the welder I took the time and drilled out you know two holes on each side you know, really just marking the orientation to everything, just to just to be careful. I, I didn't uh, I didn't ruin any of the pieces. It, it's easy to get confused, but you know this design now, you know, mounts that edge really flush, which is what I wanted, and then the welder will just do the TIG welding along the top. That'll look good, and probably do a couple spot. You know, spot welds in the back. And once I get it done, I'll, I'll cut the circle out for the uh, for the fan. They look good. All right, let's move on. Okay, well, next up is the fan shroud for the radiator, and we've seen this before. This is the styrofoam and cardboard mocked-up shroud for the front radiator. And a couple things to note. Uh, it's a little more complicated, it always is than it looks, but the sides are actually shallower than the back and the front are going to be because the the span of the fan shroud actually spans, spans the radiator core. So I have to be aware of that when we fabricate this up. So I'm going to remove this, throw that on the ground, and, and this is the front panel from the Wizard Cooling Fan Shroud Kit. And this is designed so that you use these prefab angle brackets and just rivet them uh, to the panel. 
and that gives you the proper height. But because I'm going to a fabricator, I'm going to handle this a little differently. But essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the side pieces off. I've marked it here already. So I'll cut that with that, that Dremel Ultra Saw. And then the, the bottom piece I'll bend at a 90 degrees with the brake. And then the top, I think it's like a 70 degree angle and we'll fold that over. So once we get this sitting, sitting right on the radiator, then we'll, we'll uh, just weld the uh, side panels to it and then we'll be, be good to go. All right, here's a little work in process. So I cut one side off and man, this ultra saw is beautiful. I mean, beautifully straight, you know, a little sanding and we're done. The way I did it was I actually used one of these angle irons and just created a guide. And that guide, sorry for the shaky camera here, but uh, you know, the guide basically presses up against here and I get it perfectly straight. So if you don't have a table saw and you have enough room to like uh, clamp a guide on your, on your piece of uh, sheet metal, I mean, that ultra saw works really good. So I'm going to chop this off and we're sort of ready for this, I guess, to go, go to the fabricator. Okay, here's a little more work in process. So, you know, in general, my, my approach here with the fabricator is to cut as many components as possible to fit and give the fabricator, you know, very clear, very simple instructions to assemble the product. So in this case, what I had to do is I trimmed I trim the side panels down because the side panels are meant to hold the fan shroud about three inches off the face of the radiator. And because the fan shroud is going to sit on the, the side of the radiator, uh, it had to be shortened by about a half an inch. So I trimmed those up and then I came up with the approach for the fabricator, which is, you know, he's going to uh, apply the metal brake and bend a 90 degree angle uh, down to here and then he'll trim it off so that it's two and a half inches uh, off this part of the radiator. And then at this marking here, he'll just bend this over until it meets the top of the radiator. It's roughly a 70 degree angle and then we'll trim the top and then we'll weld it up. Uh, and that's about, you know, that's about what we'll do here. The next step, we'll just cut up some metal uh, for mounting tabs. So we're going to put uh, four mounting tabs on the face of the radiator and three mounting tabs underneath. So I'll cut those up and for the sake of completeness I'll show them in the next segment. Okay well this will be the final work in process segment. Uh, as you can see I fabbed up some more brackets and these brackets are going to Hold the fan shroud onto the radiator so on the bottom I have three angle brackets they're going to be welded you know they're going to be welded to the bottom of the radiator and then they'll hold that that fan shroud fan shroud in place and it won't let it drop and then on the side I have these short little angle brackets and we will weld them to the face of the radiator and I think that'll do a good job holding the radiator or holding the fan shroud securely onto the radiator. Uh, the reason why I chose the bottom and the side brackets uh, because I have that brake booster master cylinder in the way and you know I, I really can't get that fan shroud out unless it slides you know unless it slides up uh, from the current position so this is the way we'll do it. In the next segment and the final segment we'll take a look at the shrouds coming back from the welder and then we'll call it a wrap. Okay, well, just when we thought we would segue over to the finished product, we have another work in process. So I, I was sort of uh, explaining I wanted to make it simple for the fabricator. Well, I actually didn't make it simple enough. It, it's, it, this required a lot more work than I was anticipating. So what we decided to do on first pass is just bend that you know, bend the, the top plate. So we got the 90 degree bend on it, and then we did the 70 degree bend, and I took it home 
and I cut the tops and the bottoms with the ultra saw and I also had a had to sort of notch out these areas on the front and back corners. So we're pretty close. We've got, you know, we have a little room here. So I'm gonna bring it back to the fabricator. We're gonna bend it over just a tad more. And then you can see I notched out these side plates. And then once we get this angle right, we're going to just mark this and cut this accordingly and then weld it up. Okay, so we are getting there. Next segue, I promise. It'll be the finished product. Okay, well, I have the intercooler shrouds back from the welder. And a shout out to Don Buffalino from Buffalino Fabrication in Sayreville, New Jersey. He does the welding for me and he did a great job. Uh, here's the TIG welding along the side of the fan shroud. And then I installed this high performance Maradine, Maradine fan. And then you can see on the inside of the brackets, we we did some small welds here just to make sure it doesn't flex. And anyway, they came out great. All right, so we'll take a look at the main radiator shroud. All right, well, we finished the fan shroud up. Another shout out to Dominic Buffalino. Uh, Dom did a great job finishing up this fan shroud. So a couple things to point out in closing comments. Uh, you know, just like we designed it, I mean, the sides of the sides of the shroud sit on top, you know, on top of the radiator. Uh, we've got those bottom brackets, you know, TIG welded in, which is pretty, you know, which will do the, you know, will do the job. Uh, the side brackets are welded on. And I can remove and slide that fan shroud, fan shroud up. Uh, also, we've got, you know, that angle, and we've got this flush mounted on the radiator. So this just, uh, this came out perfect. And then lastly, the side brackets that we fabbed up in a prior, in a prior video, uh, we welded on as well. So Dom welded the top and the bottom, and also welded on the inside. So, yeah, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It... Looks simple, but like a lot of things, it took a lot of thinking, a lot of thought process, but I think it's going to work out really well. Okay, so we'll call it a wrap. Thanks for watching. Take care.